Just a follow-up. Don't you think that uh, the Zimbabwe crisis... Just explain to me, were your entry permits blocked? Did you not get... People are suffering and are dying. And I hope, given the fact that uh, they seem to accept the advice we gave them, that the people's needs must be paramount, they will draw the right conclusions and move expeditiously to form an effective government that will tackle their concerns. And I hope tomorrow's meeting will take off to a good start. Make Russia myself made it clear that an urgent action is needed. The uh, crisis in Zimbabwe is, is much greater, much worse, than anything that we had ever imagined. And um, obviously, the absence of a functioning government is the main problem that we face. Who will this go to? What will be the outcome of this? We, our, our focus was to say, they as leaders, they have to find a workable way of making, making it effective so that we'll have this inclusive government and the government will be able to take its full responsibilities in terms of uh, uh, protecting people and providing services. An equitable power sharing will ensure that we're able to deliver to the Zimbabwean people. But to say that we have joint responsibility is not correct. The person who's responsible for this mess is Robert Mugabe. He, that has always been our position. That is why the president of the MDC has been on a tour to raise resources to ensure that there is a solution to the humanitarian crisis.